Thank you for having me in such an important event. As mentioned, my name is Arlene lopez Samson. I'm, I'm working with Katia. I'm from Costa Rica. And today I'm presenting the lesson learned about mixed plantations in Latin America. To begin with, why mixed plantations? We know that planted forests are an important part of the global forest state in many parts of the world. A variety of reasons can explain this trend, such as one, a reduced supply of commercial timber from native forests, but also at the same time, we have an increasing demand of timber and other biomaterial from planted forests. Likewise, planted forests are important for landscape restoration and climate change mitigation effort of many countries. For example, in the Bond Challenge Initiative, 45% of countries' restoration pledges are considering the use of commercial plantations as one of the pathways for restoration. Reforestation, we must record, is one of the three approaches used to respond to forest loss and degradation across the tropics. And we, we have heard that plantation forests are also expected to triple in area by the end of the century. Hence, well-managed and appropriately located plantations in the landscape are crucial for not only the accomplishment of restoration targets, as we have seen, but also for safeguarding the positive outcomes from tree planting. Why mix plantation again? Okay, uh, mixed timber plantations are not a new concept. There, is, there are a few successful examples throughout history, such as in, in Europe and North America, and several researchers have acknowledged the multiple benefits of having mixed plantation in the landscape, not only to forest, but also for the environment, such as diversification, that is a really important thing, species selection, and financial benefits for landowners. Here I'm presenting the existing evidence on mixed plantation in Latin America that can improve both the environmental performance of commercial reforestation while simultaneously ensuring productivity. Well, we did. Uh, we did a, a written, uh, literature review and retrieve recent and relevant literature from the period of 2005 to 2019 that included peer-reviewed journal articles, reports, working papers, and conference proceedings written in three languages, Spanish, English, and Portuguese. And we use different web-based search engines, such as the IC, Web of Science Database, Google Scholar, and other regional search engines. The key word string used were mixed plantations in combination with management or productivity or restoration or biodiversity. And the output of the search was a list of literature of mixed plantations in Latin America and their role or their potential role in landscape restoration and novel production system. Some of the key findings and results of this literature review. We have that the studies were carried out in 14 Latin American countries. We have three countries, mainly Brazil, Costa Rica, and Panama, had the biggest share of studies conducted on mixed plantations. 88% of the examined articles summarize information based on primary data. And we have that uh, the remaining 12% were review papers or meta-analysis. Most of the findings evidence of the studies were generated on research plots. 65% of the studies analyzed. Just a few studies, 26% presented the results from private initiatives, being large or small-scale plantations. The remaining 9% were the results from projects. So uh, we retrieved 140 relevant articles. From this uh, amount of articles, only 49 were selected for further review and then grouped on teams. Eight teams were, um, were, were proposed based on the attributes and processes discussed in the articles. As we ha uh, you can see in the graph. In the vertical axis, we, we have um, the, the proportion of articles analyzed, and in the horizontal axis, the themes or topic areas. 
In the left side of the graph, we have the most common topics studied in the articles, and they were growth performance, species size selection, and interaction. And the less studied topics were the link between mixed plantations and biodiversity, or the physiological processes mediating productivity in mixed forest plantations. The combination of species was site or context dependent. So we can draw any comparison between countries. However, we can know that the mixtures provide evidence of intentional mixes and the complementarity or competition between species. For example, it was common the combination of different life cycle tree species, for example, every pioneer and late colonizing tree species with multipurpose trees. Other result that we have is the native species where the preferred tree species to intercrop. In this table, we, uh, we have some example of species combinations, planting designs, a feature evaluated in the mixtures. Uh, in these studies or research plot, we, we have the opportunity to, to see evidence and the opportunity that the use of native forestry species uh, have to enhance the environmental value of monocrops at the landscape level, and also that mixed plantation can provide some evidence of the suitability of new approaches to produce good base products. For example, in these two, in these two first examples, we have um, the combination of uh, eucalyptus with acacia, and in this case, the main findings were that eucalyptus grew better only in the monoculture. However, acacia performed better only within the mixture. In the other case, that is also in Brazil, uh, this research plot combined eucalyptus with a high diversity of native species. The main results of this trial were that eucalyptus growing in monoculture as expected yield a greater biomass than their counterpart growing in the highly diverse mixture. However, at true level, we see that eucalyptus grew better in the mixture and occupy and occupy 75% of the total basal area produced by eucalyptus in monoculture. Even the tree density of eucalyptus growing in mixture was only 50% of the tree density that is normally used in a monoculture. In regard to native species, the, uh, their growth performance was affected negatively by eucalyptus, but they, their performance was proportional to the, uh, to the performance in other similar growing systems. In other countries, such as in Ecuador, Colombia, and Costa Rica, we have that the mixed forest plantations included only the use of native species. And in these cases, their growth was comparable to the growth of non-native species or other valuable local species growing in monoculture. In general, we uh, can see that poor, poor growth was observed in the mixture in comparison to more traditional tree species established in monocrops. However, mixed plantation seemed to be the best option to grow valuable timber native species. And in some cases, the, uh, the growth of the native species was in range to non-native species or other valuable local species. And then you also, one, we uh, can see that with the decision of the type of tree species to intercrop varied according to the objective of the research project, country, and plant availability. This is really important because we have this constraint of plant availability. Uh, as we have seen, stock, um, exotic species are really important in the, uh, in the settings for monoculture and mixed plantations. And in Latin American countries, such as in Central America, the native species are really popular. As we have seen, there is an opportunity for mixed forest plantations, interforestation schemes, projects, but we need to double the effort to mainstream this approach in order to provide 
a more diverse landscape that incorporates native and non-native tree species in different arrangements, of course, and answering the, uh, the big question about productivity and environmental benefits, and of course, social benefits as well. Thank you.